What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing this Grixis control list that I'm planning on actually playing at the at FNM tonight. And uh, it looks a little bit like this. We got one search, one cast down, one elder spell, four thought erasure, and two Angrath's rampage, two Narset, and four Bedevil. I noticed a lot of the, the, the recent Grixis control lists have zero elder spell, which makes sense. But on the other hand, like, I've won too many games by just killing my own Planeswalkers and ultimating Nicobolus in one turn. That I feel like it's almost silly to not even include one. Plus, there are a lot of Planeswalkers in Standard right now, from Narset to Teferi to Nicobolus. That, I don't know, I think you're you're totally fine with having having one Elder spell. Uh, then we got four Bedevil, two Narset, four Nicobolus, two Kazmina. Two Ritual of Soot in the main deck. I had a big problem with Ritual of Soot in the main deck, but then I realized that, like, most control decks, like Esper, any white-based control deck, is going to have, like, main deck Wrath of God, Fumigate, whatever. So it's... For some reason, it bugged me in the Grixis deck, but it's pretty standard in any white-based control deck. So I guess it's probably fine. I also do like Kazmina because it lets you discard things like Elder Spell or Ritual of Soot when you don't need them. Um... Two Enter the God Eternals, three Nicobolus. A lot of decks are running four. I personally only have three in paper, so I'm only going to try three here. Four could pr probably be right. It's very strong. Four Discovery Dispersal, which you're probably going to go over here, but it's also a uh, Dispersal is a nice way to deal with Carnage Tyrants. And then you have two Lilianas and one Ugin, which is very, very strong. So, And Mana Base is pretty standard. Four Dragon Skull Summit are the last land, in case you guys want to check those out. And uh, I'm going to export this because you guys will yell at me if it's not the correct deck in there. And then we're going to go play. Do we knock over the sideboard? No, no Bedeck Bedazzle. I don't own them in paper, and I just don't think they're that vital. I just don't really like... I don't, I don't really care that much. Three Duress, two Moment of Craving, one, el one more Elder Spell on the sideboard, two Cry of the Carnarium, four Legion Warboss, which was not a personal choice. Uh, it was just what was in there. Two on Mordigo, which I, I kind of like for Nexus of Fate and things, and one for Asuka's Contempt, so. Traditional ranked. Let's do it. I'm a big fan of uh, having four Nicol the Ravager in the deck. Definitely keeping this hand. This is this is what dreams are made of right here. I am also surprised there's no Thief of Sanity. Uh, I guess they went with Legion Warboss over Thief of Sanity. Tormenting voice discarding wizard's lightning. Interesting. Uh, Elder spell can go. Drown catacomb I might want to keep. Yeah, we can keep the drown catacomb. Because now we have lands for everything. We can play Nicobolus and Nicobolus and Nicobolus. We can play Nicobolus. Graveyard, I don't see Narsa. Oh, Sulphur Falls. And a... Ra oh, I see. I see. Things have changed. Ooh. 
That we're going to graveyard. I don't need that much mana. Come on. Come on, my dude. Nicobolus goes to what? Five immediately? I mean, we could get rid of this guy, but that seems pretty bad, so. Begolus Nicolas. Oh, you're just gonna double shock this guy? I mean that's a good that's a good deal. You got a Oh, you got a Phoenix in there, huh? That's pretty cool. Good for you. He still don't die? Come on, efforts are futile. Wow, this is so many resources that I'm okay with it. Um, library, play that immediately. Uh, I'm gonna mill myself here. I don't really feel like putting more cards in their graveyard. Hey, man. UPS people, where are you at? Finale of Promise, casting Charter Course and Opt. All right, so that's cool. That is a uh, a one card Arclight Phoenix. Yeah, I'm a big Enter the God Eternals fan. This card is just 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 wonderful. Oh, look, you got two Phoenixes. Good for you. You're such a good. You're such a good magic play. You play the good games of Magic the Gathering. Oh, it also helps our search go off. Oh, wow. Um, la 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 library. Transform, yes, yeah, for sure. I would also rather play against this. I feel like it's much more, it's much less, it has less longevity. The problem with this is that they get to keep one of the Arclight Phoenixes. Ugin just goes to five. Well, this is unfortunate. One, two, three, and then we got four. I guess we can just keep playing guys here. I mean, Lily minus after attack leaves them with an arc like Phoenix and us with nothing. That seems pretty bad. I'd rather engineer a board state where we come out ahead. Like, right now, we can kill both of these guys. They get an arc like Phoenix, we get a 4 4, and then we get to draw a card from this and both of these. So we have to draw three if we Lily now. Oh, 
Okay, this is enough lands. Hmm. One, two, three, one, one, two. We're one shy of actually playing Lily and activating Search for Rescanto. I got two two phoenixes, right? One, yeah, two phoenixes. So, what kind of whale is she talking about now? <laughs> you know, a death whale. Everybody knows about the death whale. Get your little birds back. Going to two, huh? One at the face, one at Liliana. Nope. Okay. Hmm. We have decisions to make. As a magic player, I will rise again. That's fascinating. Ether itself serves. <laughs> Does that do anything? Gets rid of their one blocker. Oh, they have. Uh, they still have Arclight Phoenix to block with. How much land do we have? One, two, three, four, five. It also gets rid of our tokens, so I don't think that's the option. It's probably Discovery Dispersal. Yeah, this digs us a little bit further. That's pretty good. Did I just keep both? You only got two nerds on board. Play some of your nerds. This is all my nerds. Alright, so they have two spells, basically, and radical ideas. So, two spells, basically. Both of my creatures are lethal. Well, that's pretty good. What are you choosing? Chart of course and a wizard's lightning. Sure. If you only got two spells, that's a good one. It's a good one to have. Let's pass to attackers. So you can't get your triggers again. Peace. 
Peace out, little Arclight Phoenix boy. I'm going to attack you with both of my creatures. What a radical idea. Why even do that? Just take your damage and just die. All right. Elder spell seems bad here because they don't have creatures or planeswalkers. The rest seems pretty okay. Unmoored Ego seems legit. Cast down's all right. Angrath seems rough because they have things they can sacrifice pretty easily. Liliana might even be not great. Eh, she was fine, I guess. Um, Ritual of Soot's pretty bad. This is 59. And Vraska's Contempt, it seems. Oh, we, don't, we have another Unmoored Ego we didn't add, so. Vraska's Contempt does seem better than, like, a one Bedevil, though. And I guess if we're killing creatures, Moment of Craving is better than both of them because it kills all of their creatures. We didn't see any Drakes, though. Carnarium is pretty good. It's probably better than... All of those combined. Get rid of Elder Spell. Well, I didn't know they were playing blue-red when I when I discarded the Narset. I thought they were mono-red because I just saw Mountain and Wizards Retort, so... Yep. Snapperuski. Oh, that guy dies too, the thing. Take a tormenting voice. I'll leave that Narset on top. Oh, they're so lucky they hit another land. What a time to be alive. Their hand is two lightnings and a voice. Sure. I mean, I'm tempted to just fire off this Carnarium now when they have nothing. Seems good. I mean, then we get to untap, play Kazmino and or Narset, so. All right, well, now we know none of your cards in hand. I think we just want a second Narset here, to be honest. Nah, eh, we'll make a, we'll get a Liliana. The greed is real. Fascinating. Well, we don't have another land. Could have actually just played Nicol Bolas and got rid of this, huh? Oh, it's each opponent. We could fit, we could safely use this. Yeah, that seems good. I thought this was uh, it deals one damage to a, a player or a planeswalker. It's each opponent, so I don't actually care about that. You can't actually hit my planeswalkers, that's great. Like, you can't actually radical ideas in your turn for any profit, and that seems pretty insane. <laughs> oh, 
boy. So we know you have two radical ideas and some other nonsense. Sure. Might as well be a blank. Oh god, I forgot that it does this. I have all these friggin' abilities, wow. Radical! I can actually see plusing Ugin there too. I don't think we care about the wall. I just wanted to start dealing some damage. Yeah, ain't nobody care about that. Also, it's gonna it's gonna be raining here soon, my dudes. Oh, let's unmoor to Ego. How's that sound? <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. See you later. Bye. My students are loyal geniuses. <laughs> I was going to unmoor Ego and name uh, Crackling Drake, but I didn't actually see if there's any Crackling Drakes in the deck. I feel like we did good there. I feel like our deck is pretty sweet. I'm going to claim my prize. Disincom disinformation campaign, pretty fitting there. GG's. Yeah, I'll keep this. I'm not sure if they're just going to scoop again. Okay, super weird. <laughs> Seems good. I don't know if you guys can hear Hunter panting, but he's having a real hard time with the thunder that's happening outside. Thunder. Th -th thunder. Yeah, keep it. Must not have been a big fan. Oh, I gotta go. Let's see what you got here, Chief. Augur? Oh, we're just playing against the same deck again. I see. I don't want to take Pierce because I assume they're going to play Augur of Bolas here. Yeah, so they're going to tap out. So I'm just going to play Narset. Hmm. 
I was the Blue Phoenix guy. Thanks for the game. You're one of my favorite magic series. Been following. Thank you so much. Maybe good games. Good games. I feel like I had a few too many planeswalkers against you at one point. Not not too many for me, but maybe too many for you. I was okay with it. Fury will only lead you astray. Yeah. I had a feeling. One thing I would have enjoyed... Well, they're going to actually double kill this anyway, so we might as well get a card out of it. Or not. I guess we'll just hit four lands, and then we can put them all on the bottom so that we don't actually draw them. And that's that's better for us. I don't really want to draw my lands when I have a Nicol Bolas in hand and a Nugan. And Bedevil seems pretty cumbersome against this deck, but... T. Bombadil, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Hey, we hit a land. Good for us. I mean, they have Lava Coil, which is, which is rough. Still got a discard, I don't care. All right, uh, I guess we'll just pass here. Two six drops and three bedevils. How are we looking, UPS? What's the verdict? Come on. Ugh, the Elder Spell, awkward. Tormenting voice. Well, butter my biscuits. Oh, we let them attack? That's sad. I mean, what else can we do, I guess? Alright, still one man away from this old bedevil. Or this old, these old planeswalkers, I guess. God, I'm just gonna bedevil everything. Get out of here, you old, you old pesky nerd. Come on, land. Well, that acts like a land in a sense. It's never resolving, but it acts like a land. That's so sad. Oh boy, we're getting aggressive here. Cheeseburger in paradise. But Devil's Mana Cost is annoying? Why? I mean, it feels like it's necessary, right? Hero's Downfall was literally uh, one red less. This is very good. Hero's Downfall was literally one red less, but, uh, you know, you're adding a destruction of an artifact, right? So it's basically the perfect mana cost. We meet again for the first Bedevil. I see we're playing the Beauty of Grixis. All we're missing now is tentacles, and we'll never... No, but we'll never have the tentacles, unfortunately, because of the whole... You know, the whole Eldrazi and standard thing. You know what I'm saying. I think they're just going to get rid of a, a mountain here. Hey, look. Is that the fourth Bedevil we've drawn? Jesus. 
<gasps> oh, they might not have known they can get rid of a permanent. That's pretty sweet. Or they figured a land in hand is worse than a land in board. I don't know. I feel like five is pretty safe, but I mean, probably not. Okay, well, it's less safe when they have a shock in hand. And another shock. Interesting. What's better, Liliana plusing or Ugin and plusing? Ugin lets us draw cards if we plus. Fingers crossed. Good. Wait, we have the Elder Spell? Oh, we just win here, don't we? We can play we can play Elder Spell, kill this, and then ultimate. See, this is literally why we play Elder Spell. Woo! <laughs> Can you tell my friend to have a safe trip? He's leaving for Canada tomorrow morning. His name is Warren. Warren, have a safe trip, buddy. Uh, be safe on your way to Canada. Once you get there, I'm sure it'll be very safe because Canada, are, uh, they're a friendly neighborhood. Uh, Canada is a friendly neighborhood, and uh, I, I, hope you, I hope you have a good trip, buddy. Dude, the one Elder spell always wins you. It literally says two mana win you the game in, in certain situations. Canada's a big neighborhood. I agree with you. Let's get rid of the Rituals of Soot. I mean, they're fine, but they're not... They're no Karai the Carnariums. I have to assume they have Arcbound Phoenixes in there somewhere? Moment of Craving just seems better than Cast Down here, for sure. Alright, that seems fine. We didn't see any Arcbound Phoenixes. Like, literally none. Um... Yeah, that seems fine. We need a second black, but... Well, we found it. Thought, thought Scour on top. Thought Scour? Is that what it's called? No, Thought Erasure? Oh, Nicol Bolas is a thing too, I guess. Cheeseburger in paradise, my dudes. I'm just waiting for this UPS guy, man. This UPS guy, man? Yo, UPS guy, man, where you at? I feel like we can get rid of this guy now. Oh, they can spell pierce it? Oh, no. And we take a damage from the spell pierce? I think that's actually fine. I'm hearing noises. It doesn't matter. There's no one. Oh, they do have Arc Light Phoenixes. Degenerate. Degenerate. I wish Nicol Bolas or uh, Ugin exiled them. I feel like exiling is on brand for both of them. Because this one says exile. Each opponent exiles a card from their hand or a permanent they control. But you destroy the creature. And Ugin historically has an exile ability. Exile all permanents. And you even 
exile the top card of your library with his first ability, but neither card exiles the permanent, so it's it's kind of weird. Wow, finale of... What is this? Finale of uh, Promise is actually insane in these decks. But they don't have much left. Rosanna, Rosanna. Mm -hmm. Meet me all the way. Ba -da -da. Rosanna, yeah. We can go to five here and take I three. However, considering this dude is... We're at nine. I don't really want to take three against this deck. Your and they have to, like, shock this guy, which is already pretty rough, so... Oh, that's pretty cool. Is this instant or sorcery? Okay. Me all the way. Are you going to the face? No way. Yeah, I didn't think so. I was like, that's crazy. So what we can do is we can actually play Moment of Craving here. That doesn't do much. We can play Duress and Kazmina. Although Kazmina would not let us do a thing. Could just play Liliana and make them sacrifice this guy and then we don't get to draw anything, but that's fine. I kind of want to do this. I also kind of want to get guys on the board. Let's just Liliana here. I mean, if they're somehow able to reanimate their Phoenix. Just the trick for this. It's pretty good. So this is one, two. Mm -hmm. How many phoenixes have we got in here? One, two. Yeah, we're definitely, uh, oh, well, that's two. You got one more one mana spell? I bet you do. They never don't. Yep, we're just going to scoop here. Okay, Contempt can come in. Elder spell can come out. Unmoored Ego is the other card we're definitely bringing in. Over one Bedevil. Mm. Maybe one Kazmina. Seems fine. Oh yeah, definitely keep. Blood Crypt Duress into Thought Erasure seems very, very good. We also have Moment of Craving to kill any sort of... Oh god, I hate misclicking on that stupid card. I feel like it should be the right. The right one should be... Uh... Oh my god, that's so obnoxious. Right. It's gotta be Chart, of course, right? I don't care about your... Uh, do you want a fourth land here? We do have a duress. Yeah, I'll keep the land. I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess that up and never hit a fourth land. Where you at, UPS guy? I guess we'll get rid of the lava coil. Ugh, it's so frustrating. I mean, they're just gonna play a little Electro, electro Boy.
He was a skater boy. He said, see you later, boy. Yeah, we'll just keep that guy on top. That guy seems great when they have no more. Their hand is just basically land, and they have two two radical ideas in the graveyard. And they've discarded two lava coils already. That seems great. Me, me, all the way. UPS guy is on his break watching your stream on his phone outside the house. You know, if he was, I would notice. I'm loving looking. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. I keep checking the tracking. I'm like, let's see if there's an update. It says out for delivery. Let me log in here to see if I can get an estimate. Because it's supposed to be here by 5.15 or 5.45, and I'm like, you're getting close, buddy. You're getting real close, my dude. Oh, insta, insta, insta pump? How many times can I say insta? We can play this and play around uh, spell pierce this way. Between 1.45 and 5.45. So we at least got an hour and 20 minutes. I wouldn't mind, but I do have to sign for it. So I just got to be vigilant. I had a package out for delivery two days ago. Never received it. And it went back to the post office and got rescanned. Wow. You guys could have just brought it to my house instead. Once you rip these arc light phoenixes out of the deck, it's like, all right, I'll just go, I'll just go home. Are we like 4-0 with this deck? 3-0 in matches? That seems good. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems good. Seems great. Oh, gutter bones. He was a gutter bones. He said, "See you later, bones." That's not how that song goes at all. You guys know Avril Lavigne, right? That's a solid, uh, solid gutter bones meme. Baytan, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I believe we just played. I believe that's what happened. Uh, do I thought erasure here? Because these guys are kind of scary. Oh lord, let's get rid of you. This deck seems terrifying. You guys hear that thunder? It's like the Imagine Dragons outside. Yep. Guess we're taking six. Feeling good. But not really. If we kill this, we take three and then four, five, six, seven. And this guy also comes across for two more. This deck is terrifying. How do you beat this deck? How is this deck not the best deck in the metagame? Good lord, that was terrible. Ugin can go. Ugin can go. Moment of craving can come in. Cry of the Carnarium can come in. Kazmina makes a dude, so I'm not 
Narset can go. Mm, one Elder Spell can go. I guess that's good. Yikes. The Canadian Princess of Punk and National Treasure. Yeah, she's wonderful. Oh, UPS is here. Give me one second, guys. I gotta go. I should have stayed inside boarding. How long could I sit at that play first screen? Because I feel like I was there for a while. <sighs> Those are real heavy. And delivered. Done. <laughs> Twitch crashed as soon as I subscribed, but big fan. Glad I finally got some of that. That is unfortunate, but I appreciate it. Batesan, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Um, oh, I don't think I want either of these. Maybe this, just because it's a land that comes into play untapped. However, it's not going to help us cast Bedevil. So... I want to bottom both. I'm looking for Cry here. We're going to pay two because if we don't pay two, we're just going to take two, so. It's basically the same thing as not paying two and then waiting an extra turn. That's kind of okay. If they have like Fire Blade Artist, yep, now they can attack us for two and then also duress us, which is pretty brutal. This deck seems very good. This also strikes me a deck is that that could even even play heart fire just because like if they try to kill your guy you sack it game deal four damage how do i find the deck you mean the one that's literally on the overlay i 
demand servitude. That seems good. The question is, do we take two and let them activate again? I don't think so. I think we just have to use this now. I'm on the keto diet and want to die. Actually, that's how I felt when I was on keto as well. Uh, I was really miserable because I'm not a person who eats a lot of meat. So I just felt, I felt malnourished all the time. I felt like I wasn't eating uh, enough. Time for a drink. And I felt like I was having the same things over and over. And it was just, it was really, I felt like I was really cranky and really irritable during that phase. Oh, also the Soren Theater of Horrors combo is real nice. Yeah, you realize when you cut when you cut carbs and uh, like breads out of your diet, like it actually you realize that you're cutting out entire like like entire meals, like mul multiple like half of my diet would probably be like half of like it's hard to I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to word this um, out of the entire spectrum of foods and meals that you can eat and make... See, there you go. Look, they had the hard fire after all. Um, when you cut out carbs, like, you're cutting out, like, half of those meals. Like, you don't get pasta. You don't get bread. You don't get sandwiches. You don't get pizza. Like, you don't get rice. Um, you don't get noodles. Like, I mean, so it cuts out, like, Asian dishes with noodles or rice. Italian dishes with, with pasta. Any sort of pizza. Any sort of sandwich. Like, it just, it cuts, like, so many things out of your diet. It's pretty, it's pretty incredible. And I just, I figured I, I enjoyed the foods more uh, that I was cutting out than I did, you know, the diet itself. It was just not, well, it's barbecue all the time, but you can't even have barbecue sauce because there's sugar in it. Yeah, rice too, because rice is a carb. I'll keep this because of discovery dispersal. Any two land, ah, but the stupid no, no, no land that come into play untapped. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth trying. If it works for you, it works for you. Some people I know it, it works fantastically because they don't mind the sacrifice of their diet, and they're just fine with it. Like if I know people who can eat like they're like I'll just smother my burger in bacon and I'll take away the bun, and I'm like, well, I mean if that's what if that's what works for you, knock yourself out, but. You know, for me personally, that was not, that did not work for me. That was a good hit. Um, I don't think we need this at this point. I kind of just want to make sure we hit the land drops. <laughs> to take classes on bacon weaving. Good lord. What is this deck? Fountain of Renewal into Dreadhorde Invasion into Toll of the Invasion. You got me. I don't know what's going on here. If you wrap your meat in crispier meat, it's like a bun. Yes, that's true. Why do we see Electromancer? I don't know what that means. What are you saying right now? What did they take? Bedevil? can go in the garbage can. I don't know if this is good. I don't think anything's good here. Yep, keep the lands coming, I guess. We'll just go this guy into this guy into this guy. Or, you know, other way around. Whatever. 
Where's the monocle? It's sitting right here. Sometimes you gotta get fancy. Look at this counteracting here. I don't lose any life at all. Well, this is nice because they're gonna go to four here and then we can we can enter the God Eternals to knock it back down to size. Knock it back down to sound black, black, blue, doo, doo, doo. Why don't you enter the God of Turns? Back up to 15. Oh, they're going to sack that. They're like, I need a card now. I will spare you in exchange for eternal and if they have another D Spark, it's a literally a three for one because they use D Spark, they exile a permanent, and we drew a card. My intellect is without limits. He said my intellect is without limits. I thought he said my internet is without limits, and I was like, wow, that's we could attack here, but then Nicobolus takes two, and I don't think, I don't think we're for that. My inter, my internet is, yeah, that's fine. What about your internet, Nicobolus? This is aggressive. Our opponent's doing all the things here. Schemes have been foiled. Ha. <laughs> This guy's toast. Karn and Divine Visitation. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we'll put you on the bottom, and then we can just make them discard. The Karn. The Graven Cairn. <laughs> we can also flip this dude next turn. What up, top deck mode? I like how I didn't attack first. I get so excited about flicking, flipping a bullets that I'm like, I don't even need to attack. The multiverse is at my disposal. Target creature or planeswalker from a graveyard onto the battlefield. Wow, did you guys hear that? We could just take the Karn, actually. That seems good. I'm just going to draw two cards here. What up, Chris? It's your boy, Kayford. Straight out of straight out of CK. That's Card Kingdom, in case you guys didn't know. What you know about my monocle stuff? Oh, it fell out of my eyeball. Dang it. Let's make sure you don't have any shenanigans. You don't. That's fine. My knowledge is endless. Dispersal to get Bolas back? How does that work? Because it can bounce this? Yeah, but then they just replay it on this Bolas. That seems bad, right? I guess we could have Dispersaled and then Thoughts... Yeah, that would have been good. Uh, we'll play this, actually, so we can keep up Cast Down. You had a Thought Erasure. Got him. Badger, what's going on, my dude? Oh, we got a case and a K Ferd in the chat? Oh my god. You guys better respond to my message. I'm trying to make some plans with you guys, you nerds. 
Um, look, I got. I could wear my monocle the whole time. I'm not a good wait. <laughs> got him. Um, I guess we're just gonna draw. Wait. Oh, I did a thing. I guess we'll attack here. God, do we get to do we get to ultimate Nicobolus? I've never ultimated this Nicobolus before. So we got black. Just play this untapped so I can keep up my keep up my bedevil. I've been busy. There's a gigantic charity turning. No, don't worry about it. I'm just giving you a hard time. I just want to make sure it works for you guys because I don't want to go buy a ticket and you'd be like, oh, I'm not going to be there. Filtered lake water and sleep on the dirt. For <laughs> uh, I had to sleep on the dirt for three days. You don't know my pains. That's fair. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your dirt nap. That's funny. That means that means you died. I nobody has altered that Nicobolus just because it takes like six activations and usually you're already you're already de they're already dead by then. Ingress rampage. They only had like one dude at any given time, right? I guess this is fine. I don't even know, man. The F in my last name. Yeah, it's pay respect derderer. Ferd, erd, erder. Pay respect derderer. That's that's actually what it really means. What it, what's really what it really says. Spells. I'm gonna stop talking now. God, talking is so hard sometimes. What do we see? We saw literally just the just the one one machine. Just the dreadhorde invasion. That was all. That was the only card we saw. Do you smell burnt toes? <laughs> Do you remember that time I broke when we were doing the boggles and ogles and googles and goggles? Because I saw that clip recently and I still, I still lost my mind over it. I'm pretty sure you clipped that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had a fundamental breakdown during that, during that moment. I'll keep this because one land lets us play. This is a beautiful blue-black deck that we have here. Like, we have a play, and then we have two more plays, and then we have another play, and then another play, and another play, so... It's a lot of plays, guys. It's literally the best piece of art I've ever made, and I won a miniatures painting competition back in 2019. 2009. Wow, I'm actually really flattered that you think that. Let's get your Dreadhorde Invasion. Toll of the Invasion. Divine Visitation. Yikes. We gotta take the Toll, right? No, not really. I think we take Divine Visitation. That card's just busted. We can actually take Divine Visitation, then take Basilica Bellhaunt. That seems worse, though. We still like a bell haunt we can deal with, and like, we have this for that, and we get to choose what card they get, so I don't really care about that. Wow, you lucky son of a biscuit. I just played a Massacre Girl on an empty board, Pepe Hands. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> I got a 4 4 Menace. Deal with that. I mean, they still gotta deal with it. I mean, I won. Well. Then I think the results speak for themselves, buddy. Now what do you got? Yeah, we gotta take this Divine Visitation. Ooh. Wait, what do you have still? Basilica Bellhaunt, Varaska's. I don't want no, we don't want that. We wanna hit lands. We have two lands. Don't be greedy. Don't be stupid. But like, do they? Case, all your questions are very valid. These are valid questions you're asking here. Nope. Nope. Only lands. 
Thanks. So next time we're playing Nick Nicholas Bol Bolarski from accounting. And now they're going to play Basilica B Haunt. And then they're going to untap and Vraska's Contempt. But they're going to lose their other cards, so they're going to have no cards. That's fine, because you don't get Nicobolus. Okay. I wasn't going to play that anyway. <laughs> Oh, now you gotta discard one of your two cards. Oh, that's great because now we get to keep both of these. So any land we hit, woo! I just wanna, I just wanna fat resolve this guy. What does that mean? Fat resolve him? I don't know, but it sounded like, it sounded like a thing a magic player would say. I'm gonna fat resolve this Nicobolus. Oh, you just threw another one. How nice. That's okay. We got this. So, they can either exile a land or exile the Vraska's Contempt. I guess they could exile their Bell Haunt too, but at that point we're just trading one for one here, so. If they exile their Bell Haunt, it's basically like we negative three'd this, but then we also got a card out of it, so. And it's exiled now, so that's cool. We totally fat resolved this Nicol Bolas, guys. Which Nicobolus do you get rid of? Doesn't matter, they're both pretty good. Oh, enter tapped. This is opponent, target each opponent returns? Sure. Let's see what we got here. I don't want either. Actually, I do want that, and I don't want that. I want the land, because, you know, we got a flip to do. I hope you didn't find an answer in the next... And I hope this is another Vraska's can. You have no soul. You are a soulless shell of a human being. Scatterbrain. I'm going to assume there's going to be a point where they just keep a card in hand like this, where we're going to get some value off this, because I'll, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh, that's beautiful. Got it. Keep you. Play you. Oh, boy, this is, we're doing it. Oh, yeah, that's gas, and we got Nick, Nikki B on top. I will block and draw a card, Moan Frere. And then they're going to be like, toil the masses. And I'm going to be like, oh no, I can't fat resolve this Nicobolus now. Uh, I think if it gets my deck, not today, because I have to actually leave for FNM after these, after this, after this set of matches. Um, but either Sunday or Monday, I will definitely do it, if that works for you. I'm going to keep this land in hand. It might encourage them to either toil, or it might encourage them to... Uh... I mean, if we draw, like, Kazmina, I want to have something to discard. They just gave up, though. I guess Liliana and Nicobolus are too good. Too good. Too good. Too good. Toil the masses? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Does that even make any sense as a name? I don't know. Oh, murder. Look at that, we opened a murder. What do we got here? Toil? It's not. It's Toll? Toll of the Invasion. Wow, it's totally different than what we were thinking. I feel like this deck is doing very well and, and, and the games are going very quickly. Murder was the card that they gave you. <laughs> Oh, that's a solid meme right there. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. 
Uh, I'm gonna mulligan this. No, keep this for sure. Toil masses, communism intensifies. Uh, no, we can do without that. We got three lands in hand. We're good to go for a little bit. For a little while. As long as it's after 1 p.m. Sunday PST, we'll be on a plane for a long time and land in San so 1 PST would be 4 p.m. We could also just wait till Monday if that works for you. Does Monday work for you too? Because I'm not 100% on streaming Sunday, but I probably will because I'm a... Sack a little gentleman. Angrass Rampage is just a bedevil where you can't choose. So for one more mana, you get to choose which one of these you want to kill. Have the day of doing sweet F.A. Oh, I get it. And that's a little fun call, if you know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying. We're not gonna we're not casting we're not casting this because we don't know what we want yet, but I mean we have things to do. Like killing this guy immediately. Murder was the case that they gave me. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying. Don't you be like this. Yeah, I I, uh, I uh, impulsively decided to go to F and M tonight, cause Rob was like, "Hey, there's a free F and M with a two box prize pool," and I was like, "That's pretty good." And I was like, "You know what? I got all these I got all these standard cards from Cool Stuff, CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find an article. And if you guys haven't done so, definitely go to Cool Stuff Inc. and check out the article I posted this week about Orzov Angels and Standard, and uh, leave a comment on the article and let me know what you think, because that definitely helps me out." It lets the it lets the site know that the article is being well received, and uh, I really appreciate that. And if you if you guys want to make any purchases, you can use promo code Frank Five, and get uh, five percent off your purchase. So we're gonna play a fifth land this turn. I don't think I want this. I mean, if we come across a land, it's fine. I'm killing this now because they have two cards in their hand, so... Well, that's a good one to have. This is a great one to top deck though, so I'm okay with it. I'm actually gonna mill myself here for obvious reasons. I don't want to put more Arclight Phoenixes in their graveyard. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's great. Ritual of Soot is a great card. Yep, get rid of that. Uh, keep you on top. Replay Nicol Bolas. You don't discard anything, but I, I mean, it's, it's lethal on board. Now you get to top deck one card, so that's cool. Suit? Ritual of Suit? Soot? No, I don't think so. It's Ritual of Soot. That's just, that's dialect. That's not, that's not mispronunciation. That's like saying, 
uh, it's like it's like saying Florida instead of Florida, Florida, or orange instead of orange. Like it's just dialect. Soot. 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 Thank you. <laughs> totally soot. Get out of here with your suit. Like poop. Ritual of suit. That's just too much work to say, too. Uh, ritual of suit. Like, I'm gonna wear it. I gotta wear my ritual of suit. I keep boarding out the Elder spell, which makes me sad. But I guess we do have Kazmina to discard it. Is that enough, though? I don't know, man. <laughs> is, is Duress good in this matchup? Do you guys know? Sit. I feel like I want most of the exile things, so... Sudron Olive. <laughs> Welcome everybody, it's Sud, otherwise known as Sudron Olive. Today we're going to be playing a uh, Grixis control deck. We got a lot of nickel boluses here. I'm going to tap our mana. Okay, pass the turn. Opponent on taps. Draws for the turn. Sudron Olive. I just asked my wife who is from South Africa and she definitely said suit. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna keep this hand. We have two lands, they both come into play tapped, but oh, I just like really hope oh if that was a steam vent, I would've like I would've I would've I would have loved it. Do you have a bias? The Saffron Olive do cool. Do does uh, Saffron Olive do Card Kingdom stuff? Oh, I like that. Double Thought Erasure is nice, but I wa I I wad the wow! I almost did a I almost did a little old timey cartoon that I wad the have a whittle. Uh, I'd rather have an untapped land to be able to play them, but, you know. Gotta take what you can get, guys. Take what you can get. Okay, now we can do a thing. This has got to be a play, right? Lava Coil? Oh, let's get rid of this finale. Copy an instant and return to its owner's hand. You may choose new targets for the copy. And that's pretty good. That's frighteningly good. You got to go, unfortunately. Buddy, I need lands, you see. Oh. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> One doing a thing, Buck. Boy, that's my whole MO. Boy, I love doing a thing. Yep, you chart that course, my dude. Well, they can't play Narset's Reversal now, so that's nice. Oh, an Arclight Phoenix. Wow. You can't Narset's reversal me. They have Disdainful Stroke Lava Coil? Sure. Actually, are we going to play any more instants and sorceries? I think I just want to take the Disdainful Stroke because it lets us resolve our Planeswalkers. And I don't actually care about that either. Boy, this would have been great if it come into play on tap because we have Discovery Dispersal, so. Well, 
When the sum hits your eye like a big piece of pie. I don't remember a lyric. I don't remember lyrics. <laughs> My name is Chris. For... What did the F stand for again? I forgot. Uh, dang it. Alright, so you're just playing a bunch of nonsense here. And then we get to untap and play like, oh, you're gonna get, I'm gonna get my Phoenix back. That's such a cool story, bro. Bro. Oh, I kind of like both of these, huh? I think I think crying for one uh, one Arclight Phoenix is fine. The F stands for Friss, so it's Chris Friss Erderer. That's so weird. Beating you will be a breeze. What did you say? Obviously, miss what I said. When the moon hits your knees and you mispronounce trees, Sycamore. I did miss that actually. Is this reveal a card and you don't draw it right? Look at the top two cards, one in your hand. Yeah, that's rough. blue source. I really want a blue source, but I think this is going to be fine. Because it turns out both the radical ideas... Recall up bolus, exile throat pain. <laughs> Recolabolus! Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's pretty good. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can actually copy this and use it, so I kind of want to get around that. Well, we'll see if they have an answer for this. They have three unknown cards. Peace out, my boy. Don't whiff. Oh, we did not whiff. I think Narset's a little stronger here. Okay, that's one. Alright, that's a good unknown. This, these are blanks right now, so these are the only two relevant cards in your hand. Oh, wow. I guess that's that answers that. We're avoiding giving them an opportunity to play Narset's Reversal here. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. What was that? Did you hear how long that was? He was like, no, for like 15 minutes. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I feel like we just want Kazmina here, actually. Nicol Bolas is great, but making them discard one of these two cards is not super exciting. Let's get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want eight mana so we can play like something next turn. Let me get rid of the Thought Erasure because they have Narset's Reversal, which is pretty bad. Could play another Narset, but I don't really think that's great here. Maybe it's pretty good. I think they're just going to kill the Nicol Bolas, but... Radical idea is getting rid of charter course, sure. So it's basically the same as not doing that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're just done here. Thanks for casting me, dear wizard. Now, in the beginning. Okay, I get it, buddy. You know how I don't need your life story. I think this is where they go lava coil this uh, this little wizard, kill Nicol Bolas, but then like, we still have Nicol Bolas in hand, which is pretty good. Yep, this is exactly how we drew it up, as the kids say. They could also kill Narset, which is uh, very strong against them. Well, they have no win cons. Yeah, Nicol Bolas is way too strong. Conceivable. Did he say conceivable or inconceivable? Hang on to the super unknown. So you only have one blue up. You literally... You de-blued? Goodbye, your cute creatures. Put them in the garbage can. Every day is a new mm. lesson. Oh, another one, huh? Well, certainly. So your hand is Narset's reversal and one rando card. No, oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. One, two, three, four. They have they do have four mana, so they could actually Well, I guess this doesn't actually target a creature or a planeswalker. What's it gonna be? Boy, this this Narset's reversal has been just just withering in your hand. Hmm, fascinating. If they could copy this. We could also just play another Nicobolus, but I'd rather just trade here. They're not doing it. Like, there's no point in making them discard the Narset's Reversal. Oh, interesting. Doing that in our non-main phase is pretty good, because now they only have two mana. We can actually get away with something. Don't block. There you go. Uh, let's use one of this and one of this. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> that should be GG's, right? <laughs> we have three Planeswalkers in play, a Nicobolus, two two twos, and three cards in hand. Boy, this deck is pretty nice. I'm okay with it. Let's do one more.
This is me getting my practice in for the night. Yeah, this is fine. It's got all the colors we need. And four lands that just come into play untapped. Oh, that's biscuits. Oh, how nice. Ooh, hoo, hoo, get out of here with that guy. Um, what is your hand, Basilica Bell Haunt? Land, land, and these two? Yeah, that's fine. We can keep that. Wow. Glad we kept that. I don't know if they have counter spells. I don't want to give them a chance to draw one, like a Dovin's Veto. This looks like the hero deck. Those think I play hero Dovin's Veto. It seems bad. Yep. I'll discard a Sulfur Falls. I mean, this guy's always a two for one that gains you three life, which is great. It's basically a four mana, like, mind twist. I'm actually going to take three here because I'd rather see what they do for their turn. Wow, just a. It's an aggressive hostage taker with no target. This is this is insane. So here's the question. We can either get rid of this and force them to play this and steal it. And then we Liliana negative, but we don't have a land yet. So I'm actually going to plus one here. Which either they get rid of a land, which they probably will. They can play this and then we still get to play Liliana and make them sack both guys. That seems really good. Yep, that is fine. Can we hit a land? Even if we don't hit a land, we still get to kill the deputy with Bedevil, so I'm not super concerned with that. Now we hit a land. God, Nigga Bolas is so insane, dude. No wonder this costs five colored mana. I outsmarted you eons ago. Yeah, this card's insane. <clears throat> I feel like every card in this deck is actually insane. I might just cut the Elder Spell. I feel so bad because it's such a cool card and it wins you games on the spot, but like... It's rare. Like, would I rather just have a fifth or fourth Nicobolus? Probably. <coughs> Is there a price difference there? Most most definitely. Moment of Craving actually doesn't kill any of their Dirtles. I might just want one Baraska's Contempt. Ritual of Soot does kill a lot of their Dirtles. It doesn't kill that many of their Dirtles, though, does it?
Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. That's a Sneeposaurus Rex. Uh, because they, I don't think they're boarding out things like uh, hostage taker or deputy of detention because they still get planes. Well, I mean, uh, deputy still gets planeswalkers, but well, that's pretty good. Uh, thief. Wow, their hand is terrible. Yeah, I'll keep laying on top. Their hand is literally mortify and four lands. Here comes top deck thief of sanity. No. All right, well, we're going to hit a Mortify here. Oh, a D-Spark. And then a Mortify. <laughs> yeah, you can go. And next time we get a Nikki B or a Kazmina. That's pretty good. And it's just my point was that, that it's hard for a, uh, a Legion War boss to get past a deputy and a Basilica Bell Haunt. So, like, just because they boarded out their removal doesn't mean it's, like, it's still hard for those creatures to get through. They're, they're mostly for the control matchups where they don't have blockers. Nicholas Bolas. We are the future. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. We can just play this tapped. I don't think this deck is beatable. <laughs> it's very good. The Kazminas were an awesome addition, and I think they should probably be in people's main decks, but... Look at that. We're ranking up, guys. We're ranking up. Gold tier 2! Alright, this is probably where I'm going to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, at manatraders.com. The link and promo code are in the description below. You can definitely check that out and get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. And they offer some sweet services, uh, renting physical cards or Magic Online digital cards. And you can also check out MeUndies.com. MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporo. Get 15% off and free shipping and free return. So definitely check that out. And uh, be sure to check that article over at CoolStuffInc.com. Use promo code Frank5. You get 5% off. And I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a great afternoon. I'll see you later.